Is it on? Yes. Hello, and welcome to Critical Capture. I'm Chessman, and this is my good friend Draconia here. Hi. Back for a second recording session of Pokemon uh, Rejuvenation. Now, I think last time we were looking for a male Charby that wasn't shiny. What are the odds that we actually had to catch a, sh a shiny one? It was kind of like, are you kidding? Yeah, it was pretty incredible. Anyway, we're just rolling around at the speed of sound. I'm still fathering why in the world they gave Be Beedrill a, uh, a Mega, but they didn't get Butterfree. Yeah, poor Butterfree. I mean, like, I understand Beedrill will kind of cool, but at the same time, Butterfree for the whole freaking god, especially if you watch the anime. Yeah. You okay? Have you... I'm okay. I've been watching the anime since, like, a first release. Yeah. And I still have a sweet song uh, for Butterfree since the anime. Yeah, because of Ash it's Butterfree? Yes. You have no idea how much I've wanted a Butterfree uh, plushie. Uh -huh. The only thing that either way too expensive because they're kind of like, oh, it's the rare edition that came out how many years ago. Or, uh -huh. they're, hand or they're handmade. Uh -huh. Or the other thing that drives me mad is the wings are made out of a metallic material that cracks easily. Uh -huh. You wash it too many times, so I'm kind of like... Uh -huh. No, I didn't mean to use the Arian Pulse. No, yeah, cause, the, cause a lot of, cause strangely enough, a lot of uh, official Poke merch... Breaks? No, not that it breaks, I actually haven't had that issue. I mean, with like any bug type merchandise... No! Nice. Uh, I'm and sorry, I didn't know. Any bug type merchandise? Like, like merchandise, bug type merchandise, well. Wow. Like, they all have their wings, like, if they have wings, like, all the talent. Yeah. Like, uh, it looks cool, but the problem is that if you watch it too many times, I think it's all... <laughs> yeah. The, I'm not sure if the onomatopoeia registered on the sink of the jerker. I mean, because I have a Yana plushie, and that those wings are, like, destroyed. Aww. Now it has to walk everywhere. No, the rest of it is, like, fine, but it's just the wings are just, like, couldn't survive, like, three washes, and I'm like, are you kidding me right now? Okay, so the reason I wanted a male charity so badly was because... Well, shiny. I'm still loving the fact that we find the male one and it's shiny. Yeah. The reason I want it is because we can trade it for a, um... Make bundle. sure not to trade the shiny one. I won't, I won't. I'll save before we trade, okay? If that makes you feel better. Yes. The amount of mistakes we keep uh, making on any game we play, it's just kind of like, it's better safe than sorry now. Yeah. Anyway, first we gotta stop by the Poke Center. Hello, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, I'd like to heal my Pokemon. Let's see, we hope to see you again. Actually, I think somebody pointed out on TV Tropes that whole "we hope to see you again" thing is a little, is a little messed up because it's like we hope your Pokemon get injured so we can keep in business. Technically, yeah. Yeah. Is it just me or is that kind of messed up? I want a TV show. I don't care if it's animated, I don't know if it's, uh, I don't care if it's American made or anything like that. I want a freaking show that pretty much states the fact that, oh, this is how we make money. Just as an inside joke. Yeah. But the kids are not gonna get it, the adults will. Especially, think about it, how many, since the old, since the people who started off with Pokemon have grown older, how many people stay like, how long do they pay for this? How do they pay for that? How does this even work? Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Well, I know there's this one fan game who said, like, uh, I don't qualify for the trainers like a. Anyway, like this. We got an Ultra Ball from this guy. I mean, I'll tell you later. Uh, look. Okay, let me start over. Basically, the trainer says, I don't qualify for the Pokemon trainers like free, um. You know, healthcare, so they wouldn't let me heal my Ampharos. The system is corrupt, I tell you. Corrupt! You have a male Cherubi? Yes. Now, don't trade away Flowey. Trade away the other one. Excuse it. Yep, Markamu. Goes in. I forgot we named our guy Markamu. Yay, Savage! Take good care of Bundlebee. Thank you. You know, sometimes people mistake for a very old gym leader in the Kanto region. And that's because his OT is Brock. Why? I don't know. Why? Okay, first of all, why would Brock even have that? Well, he said it's he's not Brock. Mm -hmm. You know? You don't know, do you? You just have to look on your face like, I don't know that. You do? Okay. I literally got out of college for the semester. Yeah. For the spring semester. And all I've done is literally sit down, gorge myself on the steam sale. <laughs> gorge. Sounds like you're eating it. Well, first of all, the steam sale's eating my wallet. Aww. 
But it's just because of the fact that it's like, I can get a game that's, that's normally 60 bucks for 15 bucks. I'm definitely getting that. Yeah. Anyway, do we get the thing for Venom? Oh yeah, we haven't seen Venom again. Wait! Wait! Veronica, turn that music down this instant! Wait, the beat is about to drop! Now enough of your insolent bantering and noise pollution! The neighbors are furious! The police have come to this house at least three times this week! Come on, boy, sir. <laughs> Screw the police! That is enough! Hey, turn the music back on! Hey, hey! Oh, wait, that's you. Hey, what are you doing? I said I've had enough! No! <laughs> no, I have been wounded. That awful old wretch. She's gone too far this time. Listen, this is the end. I need to ask a favor of you, bro. A berry emporium, please. Get me a peachy berry. I need to taste a peach berry one last time before I go. Please. Yeah, you remember that, right? I still love that little cutscene. For those who don't know, we actually had um, a previous save file before this. The problem is his hard drive crashed and we lost everything. Yeah, I think I might have already mentioned that. The worst part is that your hard drive crashed twice. Yeah, yeah. Well, the first time it wasn't so bad because it's like he updated it to, um... Oh, wait, yeah, so we we did, you, had to, you had to update it anyway. Yeah, but the second time, it was, for what it's worth, we had one episode where we kept butting our head up against what was essentially a brick wall, and, uh, basically it wasn't all that entertaining to watch. Which, by the way, if you're looking for external storage, I actually looked it up, like, a one terabyte I've seen now wow. range. No, a one terabyte I've seen range between around 60 to 100. Wow. Oh, I, I've now seen three terabytes now as Extraordinary Story, and I'm like, give me now! Okay, anyway, we're gonna talk to her. <laughs> okay, you, you got me a peach berry? Thank you. Stella, bro, Stella. But this is the end. I can see the bridge, the light, the red carpet with children. You're hitting to interview me. What? Too soon? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I killed <laughs> Draconia. You forgot about that, didn't you? <laughs> you know how long it's been since I played this? I did not know. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Too soon. Sorry. <laughs> Tell my sister. I love her. You can leave now. Your turn again. <laughs> I mean, uh, oh, the pain! The jig is up, ain't it? Fine. Sup, the name's Venom. You probably thought it was Veronica because of my mom, but it's Venom. Call me Veronica and you'll need more than an Orenberry to save you from death. Anyway, looks like I got kicked out, again. Yep, this happens weekly. I play music too loud, I get kicked out. I play dead, and some sap buys me food. I guess you're the poor sap this time, huh? Huh, you know what? You're pretty cool, dude. Why don't you come hang out with my friends and I? Finally proper English. Yeah. It'll be fun, I promise. <laughs> It'll be fun, I promise. Just go directly south from here until you see a small pier. I'll be waiting for you there, okay? Don't you dare don't you dare not show up. I know what you look like, and I'll find you. Excuse me. Anyway, ready? <laughs> Don't you dare not show up, I know what you look like. I'll find you. <laughs> I'm sorry, I forgot. I completely forgot that, that line was in there. I think I cracked up the last one <laughs> that, that yeah. was happening too. Yeah. Oh, trainer. What are you doing in my hood? No, I'm not in your car, man. Really? It would have worked if he was on a car, but he's on a bike, so that's the worst. Yeah. Well. Double kick. How do you not have double kick on those yet? I I don't know. So it's become a tackle site. Come on, Bellona, you can do this. Oh, come on. Okay, we're gonna have to switch around. I was gonna say, like, you're not gonna win that fight. We can turn you over to the high attack, if I'm mistaken. Yeah. Especially Earth Ring. I actually used one. I told you I'm doing, like, a. You know the tiers on Spoke Moon, right? Yes. You know, like, how P used the lowest tier? Yes. I'm doing a run of Pokemon Reborn using only Pokemon from P. Yes, are you? Masochist. I was gonna say, are you trying to like make yourself go insane? And I'm doing it on the hardcore mod, so it's even harder. <laughs> Games are meant to be enjoyed. Well, I'm well, enjoying well, it. Well, well, that's technically the Super Meat Boy. He's a blood control. 
Like that, they're actually pretty tight control because the actual game plays like a yeah. But you also have Dark Souls. <laughs> Prepare to Die Edition. I actually think I have Prepare to Die Edition on the Xbox. Wow. No, because also the fact that the one of the stores in the area was closing down their gaming section and they were just selling their gaming stuff for like 90% off. Wow. And I'm just kind of like, okay, that's not that. Yeah. But even if I don't use it, I know like the people from the group that I go to on college is like, okay, like, who wants this? Yeah. No, quick attack, my one true enemy. How could you? I was gonna say use Cherum to actually like level him up a little bit, but I would have refused. Level 12. I'm not, I'm not paying attention to that to those levels right now. <laughs> Lily, you're the one who's playing. I'm like side yeah. commentary. I'm like your sidekick right now. Yeah. Hey, you're more than a sidekick. That was my hair. I'm sorry, I was just... I know you guys couldn't see it, but I was just playing with her hair. Yeah, the thing is that I don't have normal hair. My hair is very poofy. Yeah. So my hair is like a very bushy tail. Yeah. It's like, to help you visualize it, you know Zero from Mega Man X? Imagine that except black. I mean, the hair is black. Zero is not black. That would be weird. Black Zero. Anyway, the point I is... Think, I think that would only be weird during the fact that they're technically all robots. Yeah. And it would just be weird having a fact of just kind of like, all of them are supposed to be like based on the same model. And then just we're going to have one that's going to be entirely different. Yeah. Oh well. Because if you look at all the character models, they almost have the exact same face, which is like a slight difference. Unless you go into the later games. Yeah. When they start branching out a little. Well, of course, branching out is always good. It's just sometimes, like, in these talk about the earlier games, it's just kind of like, what's going on here? Yeah. Anyway, here we go. Anyway, your turn. <laughs> that poor old wretch had done it again. I have been fatally wounded. All I <laughs> ask for before I pass on, please. The berry emporium. An orange berry, please. I need to taste that succulent sweetness of an orange berry. One last time. Please, do it for me. Cut the crap, Venom. It's Ryan. You've tried this trick on me before. Or it very, very important. Hurry. One last taste. Ozzy, just get up. Veronica. What the f- Yeah, when yeah. you just opened the door. You're a horrid, Ren. You <laughs> wouldn't listen to a poor little girl's dying wish. He's a girl. I thought you're a girl. I thought you were a primate. Mark, there you. Marky Moo. <laughs> we have to name him Marky Moo. Well, it's better than Malamar. <laughs> I said that as a joke. Okay, so Marky Moo, so you're the one Venom was talking about? Anyway, you're, you got Oh, good. It looks like you have, uh, you two have met already. In that case, we can skip the introductions and get on to the show. Presto. Shall we? This honestly works out for all of us. I heard Professor Jenner talking to you about meeting Amelia and Goldwood for us. Yeah, don't waste your time. She's not there. Rihanna has been down, she's, so she's trying to find the back generator located in the sewers. When she flips that switch, everything should be good. Yeah. Every single time I hear that in a video game, I'm just like, something's gonna go wrong. Yeah, but everything should be good. Then no, everything should be fine, or like, we just need to do this, and everything will be fine. It's like, okay. no, that usually is an indication that something is going to go yeah. wrong. Anyway, ever since some girl named Saki implemented a better way to manage food waste, this place has been left to rot. Well, that's usually the case, but sometimes adults come down here to check on the power grid. Unfortunately, the new si sewer system didn't account for the power. I'm not sure why the first person could do that anyway. Better I'm rambling. Let's just get to the power room, okay? Get to the computer room! Find the computer room! Get to the chopper! Yep, and if it's possible, the fish in these waters. Wait, please, Minnie! What would you find in these waters? Um, a primer? Skrill? No, no, no. Because the only thing I can think of is that new, um... With a seahorse thing? Yeah, so Skrull. Getting, there you go, Skrull. Actually, you do find it there. Well, like, that's the only way I can even understand of what, like, what would be in the water. Yeah. Because Grimer and Muck just seems like they would be, like, staked to the bottom, like... <laughs> well, maybe fishing rod, maybe if it hits the bottom. Kind of like what I did with the crab, because I've caught crab on a fishing rod how many times? Yeah. I'm just, like, just like a Grimer crab. So every so many times I've actually grown that, I'm just kind of like, why? Like, there is a thing over there, like, you should be getting walking into. Why am I getting, instead of getting fish, I'm getting crabs. Yeah. Anyway, let's just switch to a, not a ball. Okay, let's see. Oh, trainer. Ding. Even though this place is icky and gross, we still like to play here. The original setup was going to be, I'm going to uh, pick the Pokemon who get on our team. Okay. But he has to name them. Okay. 
And I'm still, I'm starting to slowly regret allowing you to pick the name. Yeah, not a ball, huh? Why did I name it that? I don't know, maybe the same fact that you had, uh, we had a, a shiny Cyndaquil at one point? In the, named this... it My God He. Yeah. Well, I remember the, I can't remember, did we do, uh, was that also lost in here as well? Yeah, it was lost. Yeah, pretty much we were screaming our heads off over the fact that we literally picked our shiny, uh, our starter and it was a shiny Cyndaquil. Also, Brew and I, that's his name. Um, she basically, uh, we got a shiny Budkip. So I heard you like Budkip. Actually, we named it Beepkip. Oh my She actually pointed out, why did you name it that? I heard you like mud kids. Yeah, pretty much that. I'm still trying to figure out, as in the fact of why did they made mud kid pink? And no, I'm no, no, the shiny one in Pokemon Reborn, they all have unique shiny sprites, so. Uh, Hallelujah! Basically, mud kids like green with like brown arms. Okay, I take that back. Okay, although a lot of them are pretty cool. Like, I actually had say in like one of them. The green could actually work if it's not the neon green, the Pokemon it's like not neon green. Okay. Anyway, so should we catch one of these guys, or...? Do we need any one of them right now? Do well... we... Because here's the thing, because currently right now we have a fire type, we have an electric type. We have a, uh, currently now a poison type that doesn't he turn into a poison ground, if I'm not mistaken? Yeah, but he doesn't learn any good poison type moves. Well, he, can learn, he can learn fighting moves, though. True, but a psychic type might be very useful for, like, the first gym. The only thing is, that how, does he learn any good psychic type moves? Very yeah, good fusion. You really count that as a good move. Yeah. If you want to, the only thing I, I kind of want to keep me around on my team. That's just because I have a uh, very get around fetish. I think I have a fetish. <laughs> of course you do. You like late at night, you'll be pleasuring yourself. To them. Okay, I'll shut up. I'll shut up. I'll shut up. This is why you can't do that because I will smack you. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I, well, my very first Pokemon playthrough was Char was Charmander, and then I think I had a Needle King. Dang it, not a ball. All the way up to the, to the league. And I'm not sure if I used it in the league or not. But I also had a uh, Mizuki. I don't understand why I called it Mizuki, like how many, like, years back. No, I didn't call it Mizuki, I named it Mizo. Oh, yeah, that's your Pidgey, Pidgey, right? My Pidgeot, yeah. Pidgeot, yeah. <laughs> my level, like, 82 Pidgeot. <laughs> yeah. Bird Jesus! You know, Twitch plays both of them. Yes, I know. Aww, it got knocked out. So it was a shaggy dog story. You know what a shaggy dog story is, right? Mm -hmm. Basically, it's a story that has no point. Basically, it's like, it, it just results in the protagonist gaining nothing, learning nothing, etc. So how is there can be there? <sighs> We're not gonna go that way. Fine. What do you mean? Awkward. No, it's not awkward. You said that we get a chance of a shiny... Garboiter? There we go. No, 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 we don't. It's a trainer battle. We'll take like later on. No, do we? I don't know. You're the one who knows about this game more than I do. I don't think so. No, no, we don't. It just it shows up later to save us. I'm sorry, I'm very confused! I am confuzzled! Anyway, look. Up here, you dopes! What? Oh my, it seems the door is controlling the- it seems the pa so the power controlling those doors gave out. Again, you have to reset the door's power. I think the reset button is on the north right portion of the sewers? Well, isn't this just perfect? What is up with the power lately? Who puts the reset button of a particular door on the other side of the sewers? I don't know, maybe just so they make sure that, like, you don't get locked out. Sense. Well, you know what else doesn't make sense? In Undertale, finding a lamp that, like, looks exactly like you. What are you going to discuss Undertale? Because even though Undertale is great, there's just some parts of it that's kind of like, someone explain this. Yeah. Especially Gaster. Oh yeah, well, basically the thing is, you know the core, right? Okay, no, I understand the backstory of Gaster. It's just for the fact that, like, can you at least explain whether or not, like, Gaster is, like, perfectly meant to be found? Or is he kind of, uh, like, cut content? No, he was, he's a deconstruction of cut content. Like, he basically shows what it's like for a character to be cut from the game. Like, you know, completely gone, unable to affect everything, like he never even existed. Well, no, I'm talking about the fact of, like, he has his own theme song. 
in the sound testing, uh, the hidden sound testing uh, section of Undertale. Yeah. Then he also has the um, in the real lab. If you go into the file, they have uh, an extra set that are written by a caster. Yeah. The man who speaks in hands. Yep. Because he speaks in weak things. You know, the font was like. Yeah, they, which people have thought that he's actually related somehow to Papyrus and Sam. Both of their names are uh, based Fonts. on font as well. Yeah. And in fact, actually, in the game's files, you can find that there was originally supposed to be an Uncle Seraph. Or, like, a uh, Uncle um, Semi, actually. And it, uh, presumably, he would have spoken Semi Seraph. Oh, well. Say that again. Well, apparently, well, apparently he said that he raised so much money from Undertale that he's willing to make like a comic or a second game. Wow! And he's actually actually asked people to like list what characters he want to see or know more about, and he'll try to put them in. There. Okay. And I'm just kind of like, first of all, you are just like the king of fan service right now. Yeah. Fan service? You mean like that's a very different kind of fan service? No, 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 no. I'm talking about fan service in general, or what's it called? Pandering. There you go. Pandering. Fan pandering. Yeah. Well, I mean, that could be misconstrued, too. You know what? I, I just, shut up. I just, I just call it fan service. Do the fact that it's kind of like, people want to know more about your character. You were literally going out saying, Hey, I am planning on doing this, so just tell me what you want, and I will try to put it in there as best I can. Wow. And you're just kind of like, you will literally have, like, a million people just saying, I want to see about blah, 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 blah. Yeah, well, I mean, not only that, but he's pretty self-deprecating, too. Like, he put out, like, basically, um said, before somebody eventually inevitably gives me a 5 out of 10, let's just appreciate the moment, like, a shitty dog beat a Hideo Kojima, and he shows, like, the rankings for, um, Undertale and Metal Gear Solid 5, and it's like, Metal Gear, I mean, Undertale's crushing Metal Gear Solid 5. I honestly never saw the appeal of Metal Gear, uh, Metal Gear. Yeah. No, no, because, like, I've seen stuff, and I can see, like, the, the at least, like, earlier appeal to it, but it's, like, after it branches off a little bit, I'm kind of like, Although I do, I will admit, I love Snake's design. Yeah, me too. There's just something about his design, I'm just kind of like, this character is just amazing. Yeah. I can't find a fault in his design. What about Old Snake? I haven't delved into the old, like, that much of the Well, I know there's Big Boss, and I know there's two different clones of him, that's pretty much Snake and, uh, Liquid. Liquid, there we go. Then there's Liquid, and I know there's also, um, weird shenanigans that also goes on because of the fact that... It's like a guarantee of Hideo Kojima of just having some sort of weirdness in his games about uh, how serious they are. Yeah. <laughs> Psycho Max. <laughs> so, you like the Wind Waker, don't ya? That was ingenious. Yeah. I was, he was, that was ingenious. Yeah. The, the read your memory card. Yeah. The best part is the snake was involved with it too. Right? He's like, put your controller down nice and flat. The snake is looking like, like a head nod. Yeah. I'll vibrate your controller without any. Vibrate your controller. Yeah. I'll vibrate your controller, baby. Nudge, nudge, wink, wink. Okay, I'll shut up. I'll shut up. I'll shut up. <laughs> I should shut up, shouldn't I? Um. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, uh, I think I made you lose your train of thought. Yes, you did. <laughs> I feel oh. I'm not sorry. What I, what I also thought was interesting was the fact that you actually ha had to unplug your controller in the real world and then put it into controller 2. Yeah, I was actually about to mention that. The only thing I'm wondering is, like, would it work if you actually put it into that boomerang thing they had for the PlayStation back then? What boomerang? Oh, you mean... Oh, you mean, like, that big, like, controller I, hookup thingy? I call it the boomerang, because when you look at it, it looks like a freaking boomerang. Yeah, it does. Anyway, what's this guy? No, hired to fix the power issues of it and down here, but everything shh, so I can't really ask for help. Power beats going off and on, so something maybe toggling the power button. Anyway, let's see. Ding. Poison type Pokemon love roaming around here. Okay. Let's see what's this guy. Um, Punk Ben. Wait, ben Riley? Really? You know, from the Spider Man, the Clone Saga. I think we're done. We don't talk about it, do we? No. Yeah, I didn't think so. Well, I mean, it's just, it wasn't very good. With the name, like, Maximum Clonage, you know it's not gonna be great. But how did they mess it up even more? They could have done something stupider, which was just War of the Clones. Yeah. 
Well, even then, I think maximum clonage is stupider. They had to make up words just to describe how stupid it was. I was like... Anyway, double kick! Which I've actually just realized, that there's been a lot of things, uh, not 2016, but in 2015, there's a lot of cloning shenanigans and also the butterfly effect uh, effect shenanigans. Oh, you mean like in video games or in yeah. everything? Oh yeah, because it's like, uh, Until Dawn. <laughs> okay, Until Dawn is... I'm still trying to wrap my head around how that game became so popular. And it's not because I hate the game itself. What I don't understand is the fact that the game is supposed to me uh, mimic B-movie style. Yeah. And people are like, oh my god, this is like a B-movie style thing, this actually really feels blah 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 blah. What I never understood is the fact that there are games that don't mean to be like that, and then they use that same exact quote-unquote, like, compliment as an argument for how the game is bad. Hmm. Whoa. Hmm. It's just kind of like you're praising for a game that's purposely being a B-movie. But then a game that acts like a B-movie but doesn't advertise stating that they're trying to purposely be a B-movie, you're stating that being a B-movie is bad. Like, how does that work? I don't know. Maybe it has to do with the intent? Maybe yeah, it's like, you, you nailed being a B-movie. But I know, but it's like the same vein as the fact that, like, Call of Duty is so, how much, like, so, like, so good because it's get combat, uh, combat and gameplay shenanigans, but it's literally almost the same thing each and every year. Yeah. But yet, some other game that does something similar to that, it's like, no, this game is all repetitive, it's not doing anything new. It's like, how do you do this? Uh, not really sure. Oh, well. How do you... Look, look, Mark, and move over there! These must be the reset switches. How do we activate them, though? Wait, wait, I remember Amelia telling me something about the power grid. Okay, so I remember saying something about 3 plus 1 plus 2, but that equals 6. But what does 6 have to do with anything? I'm a little unsure of myself. How about Maybe there's something... <laughs> Maybe there's something painfully obvious here, and I'm looking into this. And I'm looking too into this. I You're just cracking yourself up, aren't you? Okay, let me tell you something. I have never played Half-Life uh, once. I should probably get Half-Life uh, from uh, it's on sale. Yeah. On Steam. However, when I went to Comic-Con, there was a stand that literally had the symbol of Half-Life. Yeah. And it had a it had an enlarged box on the bottom that said, I want to believe. Okay. And it, had, it said Half-Life 3 on it. That's pretty funny. And I'm just like... I've never played Half-Life, but I understand this joke so well because yeah. the game community. I actually cracked the joke in like my college when I went to get to an interview, went to a college interview, because there were a bunch of these kids for like the Bridges program, and um, basically it's like they were talking about how um, they were talking about Half-Life Three. They were arguing which one was better. And I said, I think we all know what the best one is, the third one, and they all broke and they all just burst into laughter. Well, it technically is the third one, technically. But it's more of the fact of games released rather than the actual title. There's technically Half-Life, and there's Half-Life 2, and there's Half-Life 2 Episode 1, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Yeah, I think. Anyway, so Bowery Emporium, please, and it's like, I, at this point I feel like you're doing this on purpose. Your turn. No. Light. Fade. Let him get up. You're not fooling anyone, you know? I, I know, but... I'm seriously so bored right now. Are you done fiddling with that computer yet? Unfortunately, no. I can't pinpoint where the error is coming from. It's so bizarre. It's quite annoying, that's for sure. You there, have we met before? Oh, is that? That's Mark and Moon. Mark and Moon? This is Amelia. Oh, I bumped it? Oh, I need to give her more feminine voice. No. No. You're not doing that voice again. I was on my way to Goldwood Forest, but apparently the power has been cut. Right. Well, if this is any indication, your trip just got cancelled. It seems so. In any case, I should check on my experiment. Experiment? But oh, that's right, I remember. Mark and Amelia was trying to see if the room was a trubbish grub odor or true. So these trash for a few days and they'll mutate into a Pokemon. Freaking hot. Huh? Don't forget that Amelia is basically... Oh, your turn. Oh. Don't forget that Amelia is basically a superhero with uh, her special power. Oh, Venom, you're exaggerating again. I don't have any type of power. Don't lie, Amelia. Take pride, bro. You attract alternate color Pokemon. And now you're going to find, and now we're going to find out if, hey, you can create them yourself. Yeah, if that's true, it could lead to some sort of cool development. Speaking of which, where are the trash bags? Oh, oh wow. Spe good. Speaking of which, where are the trash bags in place? Are they not around here? How peculiar. Uh oh, what's this? I would have loved, instead of it being over there, <laughs> I would, instead of it being over there, it would be like, come out of those cogs that are right here. Yeah. Garboder? Hey, they're eating the steel pipes! They're the cause of all this! Wait, the color of that garboder. It's different! It's 
It's purple. Same purple as the trash bag I put in here. Whoa, it's shiny! Just like I said it would be. But where are the trash bags I placed? I placed two here as well. There they are. There they are! Where did Garboder go? Computer? Garb! Oh no, we should take care of this, Marco. The Garboder seems super hostile. Okay, we'll take care of it, Amelia. Just leave it to us. Right, sorry about this. Garb! Garboder! The garbage crew. Yeah. There's technically two. We get the th images of three uh, uh, rubbish there. I think there were originally three in the first version of the game, and they forgot to change it. Oh well. Anyway, Ember. Ally Murphy is pursuit. And of course, we get poison. The pirates know you were my favorite character. We don't have a Murkrow, right? No. Murkrow got axed. Yeah, because I was gonna say, like, here, I was like, we would have a Murkrow by now, because I would have been like, we need a Murkrow. No. Yeah. Well, you were like, he had some sort of like. Um, for Noid Bad. Noid Bad orgasm. I love Noid Bad. First of all, it's a door. What? What just happened there? Why did you just hear the Sonic Ring thing? Oh, because this is a Sonic song remixed. It's Christ City, remember? No. I haven't really played any Sonic games. I've played so many games, but yeah, somehow like the cla like the most well-known one that just like so many I have not played. I actually played Sonic for six months. It was horrific, but I had this big dopey grin plastered into my face. How did you play a Sonic 06? You don't have an Xbox. I played it in Play and Trade. Please do not tell me you spent money just to play that. Nope. Yeah, they let me borrow it because it was already open. But I mean, it was actually kind of funny. I mean, like, I, I hit a spring once and it glitched out and launched me into space. Like, see, th this is what happens when you rush things. Yeah. And just kind of go for taunt there. Anyway, Froakie took that out, which is good. Oh. Anyway, with any luck, I can. Oh, hey, Pyrus leveled up. Oh man. Why, why exactly did you make me? Maybe. Anyway, Undertale. It's a good game. Anyway, please don't die. You died! I was like, I saw like a mile away. But as soon as I said, please don't die, I'm gonna die. No, the the AI is not dumb. Well, it could be. Like, I was actually, I told you I was doing a PU only run, right? Well, um, one time, when I fought the psychic type gym leader in Pokemon Reborn, he, his whole strategy was like Trick Room. And he had two Pokemon that could use Trick Room, and both of them started, like, you, and both of them started spamming, like, a Trick Room at the same time, and as you know, that cancels it out. Yeah. So they were just completely wasting their turns. I honestly uh, haven't even gotten to anything of that or like competitive battles due to the fact that I need to drain my Pokemon. Yeah. But usually, because here's the problem, I, have, I am like wanting to have either a normal or a shiny Charizard on my competitive team. Uh, and depending on who you ask, Charizard is apparently like terrible for competitive. It's Mega they're good though. Oh well, like as a Mega, but I'm talking about in general Charizard. The question is like, do I put that in a mega slot, or do I somehow change, uh, trade my Charizard to actually like take a hit? Yeah. Well, I think Charizard should be like more of a fragile speedster. Why would you make him fragile? He is a freaking dragon. There is nothing fragile about him. Yeah, but he is a crippling stealth rock weakness. Anyway, garb. You're mine. Where is it? And oh, sorry. And you already know. You two should go and think about what you've done. Now go sit in the corner and think about what you've done. Thanks, you two. I could have handled it myself, but it seems like I got a little shocked. In any case, we found source of our power outages. Hire some engineers to fix the broken pipes and wires around the power grid. Everything should be good. I think I'll stay here. Uh, you. I think I'll stay here and take care of that problem. I kind of got kicked out of my house anyway, so it's not like I have much to do. Right, well, Markiku, your skills are most admirable. Would you like to accompany me in my travels to Goldleaf Forest? You're an inspiring trainer, aren't you? I'm sure I'll help you out quite a bit. 
need me on Route 1, you can get there by taking the North Rail now. I'm sure the power grid will be fixed by the time I get there. The engineers we hire are quite the river Well, Mark and I got around as well. Let's get out of here. Anyway, I have some RSD for Professor General. Me, all of you later. Remember that North Rail now is located in the northwestern part of Gearin. Just follow the purple strips and you'll be golden. Golden Freddy! Five Nights of Freddy 5 confirmed! Okay, no. You're not doing golden. No. Okay, anyway. Wanna call it an episode? Yeah. We'll see you next time on Critical Capture. Bye!